All right, guys, so we're finally getting to work today. It's uh, about three o'clock in the afternoon, so we're only gonna get a couple hours of work today, but it's been kind of drizzly and dreary and, uh, <laughs> and windy. So, um, yeah, you can see, you can see the rain over there. Um, anyway, I'm gonna cut some boards up for our little building and uh, our tiny house. <laughs> um, to get the to get the floor in place so we can uh, maybe cement that last board and we'll see um, depends on whether there's supposed to be rain tonight I don't really I it probably be all right I suppose um, I guess concrete will cure underwater so it should work just fine anyway I'm gonna get cutting You know, this is the problem with trying to get anything done out in the desert. It's always raining and windy. <laughs> I thought it wasn't supposed to rain in the desert. What the heck's going on with this? We've had like a year of lots of rain. And now it's starting up again. Although this, this uh, January wasn't very rainy. We only had a couple of drizzles and last year we had a lot of, a lot of rain. But we're supposed to get a couple inches today. So, well, not today, but this week. All right, I'm going inside, getting wet. All right, guys, so a little better weather today. Still windy, but got some nice uh, blue skies and, and a little bit of gray skies too, I guess, but sun's out. So I'm gonna get into production mode here and cut up uh, 25 more of these uh, floor joists and then we're gonna go over and get them installed today. Check it out, it's snowing in the desert. Just woke up and saw this. It's not much, but we'll see, it's still coming down. All right, everybody, so happy end of hump day. We're sitting around watching uh, G-Bear and Lisa's commenting on something. And I'm making pizza. All right, guys, so there is our pizza. We've got all kinds of stuff on there tonight. We've got some olives and artichokes and Brussels sprouts and 
and all kinds of stuff. I already got hiccups going on. Must be all that alcohol I'm drinking tonight. Anyway, so, yeah, we're going to eat up, get to bed, wait for McCoy's to show up tomorrow and get our floor done and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, that's it for tonight. Hey guys, so we got our delivery from uh, McCoy's today. Let's see it out, the, out there, some of the stuff. And uh, I made up some tortillas and some rice and beans and we got black olives for once. Usually don't get those because, you know, meh. <laughs> Expensive, yeah, that's it. Um, and then guac, you know, pre-made. I didn't, uh, I didn't blender it down like that, but you can't even buy the avocados for the price that you get this guac for, and it's good for months, you know. Whereas you buy an avocado, and it's good for about a minute and a half. And then, oh, and the El Yucateco um, Triple X hot sauce, so habanero, whatever, good stuff. All right, everybody. So today we got a visit from McCoy's. It's a lumber yard down here. They delivered all the wood that we're going to be using for posts on our on our garage and uh, a bunch of bags of concrete that we're going to use to set it into the ground and some OSB. We got some blocks for making some fire rings and things. Tomorrow we're going to be making uh, um, some picnic tables and or at least one picnic table. So right here is gonna be our, our garage. And as we turn around, that little bucket and the, and the cone over there mark the uh, two south points of our, of our uh, greenhouse. And our courtyard will be right over here, kind of going back to, I don't know if you can see, there's a right about there piece of rebar sticking out of the ground and then over by the by the trailer here we've got some more some more rebar sticking out or actually these are form pen form pins for concrete forms but anyway metal things sticking out of the ground um, so we'll be getting started on that probably this fall but the shop we're gonna the shop in the garage we're gonna be doing right now that's why we have materials for it and then we have the uh, little building over here, which Lisa's been posting things on Facebook about, and everybody's going crazy about our form being on the ground, and <clears throat> our form, our, uh, what do you call them, uh, rim joists being on the ground. They're not actually, they're about an inch or so off the ground, but nonetheless, they're treated wood, and, you know, I can't see them, uh, rotting out here seeing as <laughs> it's dry most of the time it is the desert um, and I know a lot of people have uh, stuff in the ground that's not even treated and have no problems with termites but you know whatever um, we'll see what our uh, what our uh, luck is I guess um, <clears throat> but at any rate it's all square we've measured everything and all that you know and yeah so anyway so these are our four floorboards three-quarter inch OSB and then we've got uh, siding in underneath there it's basically like the t111 stuff but it's uh, called smart strand so just different brand supposedly better who knows um, and then I've got spacers for our two by sixes to make it stronger at any rate I'm gonna get this thing done tomorrow we'll get our center post in oh and these posts we just tacked them on with some screws we're not gonna leave them that way we've got half inch bolts that are going through there so you know the shear strength on that is a couple thousand pounds at least probably closer actually I was looking I think it was 20 20 some thousand pounds of shear strength and uh, anyway, <laughs> a lot more than the wood could ever support. So we'll have that on there. And then this middle part, we actually have another two by six that'll be going across. That's why there's a space right here. And anyway, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> and in the corners we'll have, uh, you know, two, whoops two uh, half inch bolts 
you know, going through this way and then this way. So there'll actually be four bolts going through those. And on here, yeah, this board is a little warped and I didn't notice it until afterwards that my line wasn't straight. So we're gonna just put a little piece of uh, metal down in there to shim it out a little bit. But we're gonna have, you know, two bolts going through this way. Then we're gonna go through this joist and put another bolt through there. So it'll give it that little extra. Anyway, yeah, I think it's gonna hold up just fine. I've seen a lot worse last a very, very long time. So, and we're 12 inch on center. The only problem I have is uh, one board, that one right there. I didn't pay attention to my crown, so that one's going down instead of up. So I'm gonna need to flip that before I uh, put our floorboard on. Anyway, yeah, so that's the plan. I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and do all that fun stuff. And uh, oh yeah, I already said I'll see you in the next one. So bye.